Bio Inc. is the key technology behind generating artificial tissue for the human body. And local researchers have come up with the latest version where bone tissue is regenerated before biodegrading in the body naturally when its work is done. Lee Eun Jin has the details. The bio industry has been hard at work trying to develop 3D printing technology capable of creating artificial tissue for the human body. The challenge has been developing a bio ink that is safe for humans. The risk of toxicity is high when using chemicals and ultraviolet rays, which means there would need to be external culturing of cells that then need to be transplanted into the body, furthering the risks of side effects. Developing this bio ink technology has remained in its research stages and so far has not been successful in reaching the clinical testing stage. But now a team of Korean researchers has developed bio ink that can hold a stable structure through temperature control. At body temperature, its form hardens to a gel-like structure. This new bio ink printed part helps regenerate tissue cells, then biodegrades in the body after a certain period of time. Not only is it easy to print in various shapes, but its greatest advantage is that it doesn't need ultraviolet rays to hold its structure. The research team tested this technology on a mouse with a damaged skull. In eight weeks, the bio ink printed support structure helped the bones regenerate to normal tissue levels, and the structure itself had started its slow biodegradation. We could see the bio ink slowly biodegrade by the 42nd day, and comparing the fourth and eighth weeks, we could see the bones regenerate. Existing bio ink required an additional injection of stem cells, which increased the risk of side effects on the immune system. But this newly developed bio ink stimulates the regeneration of tissues and not cells, so it can be used to treat any orthopedic patient. The bio ink has the ability to attract stem cells within the body to regenerate desired tissue growth without an injection of external stem cells. The research team says the BioInc is being prepared for clinical trials at a local bioventure company and expects this technology to be commercialized as early as three years from now. They also plan further research into using the BioInc not only for bone tissue regeneration, but also for it to be used for skin and organ tissue regeneration. Ian Jin, Arirang News.